Welcome back to Adventurous Advocates. I'm Abby, and I've got some special guests with me here today. This hi. is my daughter, Chloe. Chloe, say hi. hi. This is Xavier. Xavier, you want to wave hi? Good job. And this is their dad, Joe. Joe, you want to wave? Hi. Hey, Kokomo, what are we going to do today? We're going to Adventure Adventure Land. We're going to take an adventure in Adventure Land. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> hey, Joe, what <laughs> rides are we going to ride today? Uh, we're going to ride the Jungle Cruise, the Swiss Memory Robertson, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, and the Aladdin ride? Maybe the Tiki Lounge? Tiki Lounge, yeah. yeah. I think you got them all. So is it going to be fun? Yeah. So invite them to say, come on, let's have an adventure. Come on, let's do this. First up on our exciting adventure land journey is the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse. Now, this is not very disability friendly. They do not have elevators or ramps. So if you require uh, an ECV or wheelchair, you probably won't be able to do this. And if you're not able to walk an extended period of time uh, for 30 to 40 minutes, you probably also won't be able to do this. But it is a very neat experience for those that can or those that enjoy uh, the older Swiss Family Robinson movies. So we're excited to take you through it. Here we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's cool about it? Adventureland has some very cute little pop-up shopping areas. It also has the Sunshine Tree Terrace snack area that does take, when available, the dining credits. I do not believe that the uh, Disney Dining Plan is currently active, but what it is, they do take the credits. The Skipper Cantina to your right. Reservations are required. Sometimes they will have walk-ups. Now this one has a little bit um, of unique flavor to the food, so you might want to check out the menu before uh, booking it with small children. Let's go look and see what they got. Inside the island supply is going to be your first set of bathrooms, and that's very useful information. If you have a kiddo who maybe waited a little bit too long and you need to know where they are quickly, it's right after the Swiss Family entrance and right after the Sunshine uh, Treehouse Quick Service. So, easy find, there you go. As you enter Adventureland, you're met with Aladdin's magic carpet and the infamous spitting camel. This one does actually spit water, so if you're super hot, stand in front of it. If you don't like being wet, you might want to pay attention and watch out for it. What do you say we go catch a ride? How about riding in magic carpets? Let's go! Aladdin's magic carpets are so much fun. When you sit in the front, you control whether you tilt forward or backward. But when you sit in the back, you get to control up or down. Now, as you go around, you'll be able to control these things until right at the very end, when everybody's raised up to the same length, and they go around the top a few times, and then you slowly drift back down. It's a lot of fun. The one thing I will say is that if you are someone who is afraid of heights, this does not go terribly fast, which is great. And it doesn't go as high as, say, Astro Orbiter. However, <laughs> the fact that people who may not be in your party, if they seat you with a different party in the front versus in the back, or if your children are in the front and they like to jerk the knob up and down and move it around a lot. You may feel very motion sick. You may feel as if you're going to come out of the ride vehicle. Uh, and if you are afraid of heights, then definitely it may exacerbate that issue. It is such a fun ride. It's different than Dumbo because it can go, you know, forward and backwards and not just up and down, which gives it a little bit more of a big kid element and a lot of fun, but it also can add a little bit of fear. 
On a hot day, there's no better way to cool off than the misting mystical tiki's. Chloe, run over there and show us how to enjoy it. Just walk under there and cool off. Some of them shoot water, some of them shoot mist, but they're all refreshing. My favorite things in Adventureland is the enchanted tiki room where the birds sing and the flowers croon. So let's go check it out. They do have an awesome pre-show and they have wheelchair and handicap entrances that make it a lot easier to wait for and get into the show. Meanwhile, ship the eyed crocodile lurk by the water there. Lark, 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 and a giant python slithers down from an overhanging limb. Ah! What happened? What's wrong? I can't stay snakes! <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, I'm only relating stories. No, I'm tired enough, is enough. That wasn't me. I never even got my feet. We are inside the Tiki Room, but unfortunately the music of the show is copyrighted. So I'm going to give you a quick tour before the show begins, but when the show begins we'll have to turn off our recording. So it's a little bit dark in here, but all of these birds will sing for you. And the Tiki's on the door will sing, and the wooden alligators up there will sing. We will get some pictures in the light. And up from the ceiling, some birds drop down up there and sing. It's pretty awesome. Sorry we couldn't show you all the music in the Tiki Bones. That music is copyrighted, so we have to respect their ownership. But it's a lot of fun. All the birds sing, the Tiki sing, the wooden figures drum. It's just incredible. It goes everything from luau to Hawaiian music. It's thumbs up for me. It's one of my favorite things here. But now, we're on to the Jungle Cruise. Yeah, we're so excited. Yeah, I highly recommend that when you first get to the parks, you get a DIS time for the Jungle Cruise. This does tend to have one of the longer DIS, DIS times in the park, and it has a different check-in. Most times you check in with the Lightning Lane, but here you check in with the Disabilities Entrance. Now, it will take you a little bit longer because they don't have as many disability boats as they do the other kind of boats. And so you do want to try to get your DAS and check in and then just be patient. It will be a lot of fun. They did uh, redo this ride and we'll have a discussion about that when the ride's over. But um, it is a lot of fun and one of my favorite rides in the park. I'm going to get it. I got it. Thank you. Okay, now up ahead, boats, bates, and bikes. This is where me and my girlies like to get lunch sometimes. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really good. Really good brunch. Bottomless mimosas. Yeah. Let's see what's on the menus today. We have piranha, my favorite. Good for a quick bite. Catfish, eel. You know, if, if you're not in the mood for fish today, they have this really good thing. It's new. It's called um, Snake Surprise. It's really, it's really good. Yeah. Surprise! Yeah, her name is Surprise. Her parents wanted to name her something really unique. Okay, and if you guys don't mind, I really have to stop by my camp. I think I forgot something. Oh my goodness! Someone broke into my camp! They painted my Jeep blue! I hate the color blue. Oh no, this is really sad, guys. Okay, and now as we leave my camp, we are about to enter the Nile River. It's the longest river in the world. It goes on for Niles and Niles and Niles. And if you don't believe me, you are in Africa. Up ahead on your left, we are about to see an African elephant. Does anyone know how you can tell he's an African elephant? He's an African. You're stealing my jokes from me. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's an, we're in Africa. Yeah. Do you guys want to see a trick? Watch this. Speak. I said speak. I taught him that. I'm kind of like an elephant singer. Shh. I said, don't interrupt me. Okay, and now we are about to enter the African belt. Look at this. We got lots of animals here today in the African belt. Almost like the Kilimanjaro Safari. Sorry, guys. Wrong park. I won't speak of it. Look at this. These over here, they're new. We got some long neck horsies. We got some horsies with some antlers. We got some striped horsies. We got some, oh, those are birdies. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Kids, kids, close your eyes. Close your, close your eyes, close your eyes. Parents, I am so sorry. This is really embarrassing. Um, he's dead. Dead tire. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna keep going. I'm so sorry. Oh my. Oh my goodness, Skipper Felix, what are you doing up there? Skipper Felix, now he's a silly goose. Oh my goodness, now Skipper Felix and his Skipper friends, they wanted to start a Skipper van. Yeah, they were looking Dead. Oh, Skipper Felix, such a silly guy. Okay, and up ahead on our right, we are about to meet my friends, Mr. Smiley and Miss Ginger. Watch out for Miss Ginger, though, because she snaps. Yeah. Oh, Miss Ginger. She is one tough cookie. She gets so sassy. Everybody say, hey, Miss Ginger. Hey, Miss Ginger. Oh, look at her. She is so sassy. Okay, and right up ahead of us, this is going to be Schweitzer Ball. Yeah, it was named after Dr. Albert. Ball. Yeah, that's a waterfall joke. Do you guys get it? Did you get it? You get it? Yeah, it's okay. We'll go over it later. Yeah. Okay, and now, you know, people ask me all the time, Skipper Allie, how did you land your job? I think it's pretty plain to see. Yeah. I took a crash course at first, and now I'm just kind of winging it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so good. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, no. I, I hate to scare you guys, but we're about to enter a hippo pool. They may look friendly, but I promise you they're not. They sunk like six boats last week. It's okay, though. Only five of them were mine. It's okay. It's okay. I know the perfect way to scare them off, though. Are you ready? I love you! I want a committed relationship! <laughs> it works every time. I'm fine, guys. I promise. Oh, my goodness. Look at these monkeys. That was Skipper Felix's tour boat. Looks like they wanted to join the band. Wrong band, guys. Let's listen to them, though. They sound pretty good, though. I would buy tickets. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And look up ahead. We have some more monkeys. Looks like these ones are playing with butterflies. You know, I used to be friends with those butterflies. They're just not what they used to be, though. Caterpillars. Yeah. It's okay, though. I'm not mad about it, though. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. Okay, guys. We are about to come up on what you all have been waiting to see. What you all came here for. Are you guys ready? Are you, are you ready? Yeah, I think you guys are. I think you guys are. The best sort of water. Woo! Oh, two, eight. Oh, two, eight. Oh, two, eight. Oh, two, eight. Okay, now that we're done with that.
Okay, guys, we are now entering the Mekong River in the heart of Cambodia. Oh! Oh, my! Oh, oh, wait a second. Um, it looks like we are about to enter a temple. It looks really dark and spooky. I'm actually really scared of the dark. So, I have an idea. Um, I'm gonna close my eyes. And you guys keep your eyes open. Just let me know if anything happens, okay? I'm closing my eyes now. question for you. Can you talk like a pirate? Ahoy. Aye, aye. I can, says me, says I. Aye. Good job. Now we are here at Pirates of the Caribbean in Adventureland. Here we will see Captain Jack Sparrow. Ahoy. We'll, we'll see Captain Barbosa and much, much more. It's important to remember to stay hydrated. After the jungle cruise, you will literally feel like your face might be melting off. And it's very, very hot in Adventureland. And so it's important to drink lots of water. They do offer free water at the Crick Services, but a good bottle of water does taste good for many of the stands as well. Are you guys ready to talk like a pirate? Arr. Are you ready to talk like a pirate? Yeah. Thank you. 
him with Davy Jones. Tell him, Carlo, don't be cheeky. Stop moving! Um, <laughs> I am no cheeky. I will not Let's take a minute to talk about the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. You will have to park your ECV at the front of the, of the ride. It is a very pretty significant distance from the exit of the ride. They do not let you take the ECV in until you get on the boat. Um, and this is because they don't have any way to connect uh, the entrance and the exit. It's an older building and so they don't have any walkways, they don't have any connectivity between the two. So you will have to park your ECV and go in. Once you go in, it's about a five to 10 minute walk with some slight inclines from the lightning lane. Now, if you're in the standby lane, it's a completely different game and it can be pretty significant. But if you're in the lightning lane or where you come back with a DAS pass, it's only about a five to 10 minute walk with very slight inclines and some cute theming. Um, when you get out, there is a moving walkway that will take you up and out of the ride. It is pretty steep, but it, it's a moving walkway, so you don't have to walk it or climb it, which is nicer. So there's that. But once you exit the ride, you're gonna exit through the gift shop, and you'll have to walk all the way to around to the front and around the building to get your ECV. So you may wanna have somebody with you that can go get your ECV and bring it to you in the store. Or um, the, the thing is the employees are not allowed to drive 
your ECV, they can put it in uh, neutral and push it short distances, but they're not allowed to push it that far. And they're definitely not allowed to drive them. It's against company policy. So you will have to either have somebody there to help you or be able to walk through the shop and back around to the front of the ride. So it is a very fun ride. We're excited to have the POV and some of the things in there for you, but I just wanted to give you a heads up on the entrance and exit so you know what to expect and have a fun experience. Across from the Pirates of the Caribbean ride is the Pirate Training Center. My daughter loved doing this. They used to get out and have the children learn to swashbuckle and wayfind on a map and all sorts of fun things like that. And then you could do a pirate challenge and get a fast pass. They no longer have the fast pass system, so they are no longer offering a fast pass reward, but you still can get stickers and a pirate map and things like that. Uh, they do occasionally do a show out here, but it's not as interactive as it once was and uh, the kids view from the from down below they don't get to participate but you know jack does come out and talk to the kids they do have a great time learning to speak in pirate lingo and all sorts of things like that also across from the pirates of the caribbean ride is the tortuga taverns and that is a quick service location here in adventureland and they do have a very limited menu so for the adult options they have a hamburger with pineapple on it and chicken strips. For the kids, they have peanut butter, chocolate hazelnut spread, and banana sandwich. And then they have a, an assortment of sodas and bottled water and stuff like that. So if you have someone allergic to pineapple, which my daughter is, so we can't eat here, um, or someone who would prefer more than two options, this may not be the best stop for you, but if you're in a hurry and you want somewhere with a ton of seating and really fun theme across from pirates while you wait for your pirates time to click down then tortuga taverns is for you tell me what your favorite thing about adventureland was i think my favorite thing about adventureland was going on the swiss family robinson ride oh the swiss family robinson that one is neat yeah. that way you can see a bunch of different things you usually don't get to see oh cool neat what about you chloe bear i would have to say that that my favorite thing Thing was, uh, was the magic carpet. The magic carpet was your favorite? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. They, you like to bump them up and down. I have to tell you, Chloe gave me a right scare one day when we were riding that. She, I thought she was going to rodeo me off that ride. <laughs> it was fun. It was all in good fun. Chloe's really fun to ride with because she's daring and brave, right? Like sometimes. Meredith. Sometimes. Xavier, I asked him what his favorite thing to do was today, and he wrote that he was happy that we were all together, and that he loved us, and I thought that was super sweet. Right? I think he had a lot of fun in the rides. So now, folks, our adventure comes to an end. Here we are at the border of adventure and Frontierland. Yes, the Pirates of the Caribbean and the Tortuga Taverns are the end of Adventureland at Magic Kingdom. However, we have had an incredible time. We've ridden some rides, we've seen a show, we've checked out two different quick service restaurants, a treat spot, some restrooms, and some fun shops. So if you head to Magic Kingdom and are in the mood for some adventure, come on down. And until next time, stay adventurous.